Hello Aquariuses, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for September 14th to September 20th, 2020. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the views, all the comments. I appreciate it so much. My channel grows every day. So I'm going to have a drawing when I get to 5,000 subscribers where I'm going to let the winner pick a deck of my cards. They can either have mine and I can sage them or... I will buy them the exact same deck as mine, but brand new. So keep that in mind if you're interested when I get up a little higher. Figure out what of the deck you might like. And look at them so you know for sure. So I just did a little drawing, a test run. And I was checking analytics, so I put a drawing in the middle of my videos to see who watched all the videos, you guys, and not very many people responded, but a few did, and it, I wanted to clarify the company to see if they were fair to do a drawing, and it was very fun. I really liked it. I swear I could just have a channel where I just give stuff away. It was so cool, but that's down the road. So it was very cool. So I have a winner. If you go to my community page, you'll see. It doesn't say too much about it, but that's what it was, just an analytic test run, kind of. So here we go with the Earth Wisdom for you, Aquarius, and you have Joy, 26. This is beautiful. So let me find 26, and I'm still getting better at these. So 26 is Joy, Dandelion, heals anger and clears physical and energetic toxins and releases personal power. Garnet encourages a passion for life. So this talks about physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional toxins strangle a natural joy of life. So clear the toxins in this situation to access your joy. Being joyful also grounds you in your own personal power. So that's a good one to start off with, Aquarius. So the next one for you is rest. 15, which would be 6 if we add it together. So 15... So it talks about chamomile, allows relaxation, replenishes the body. Jade brings good fortune. When we are exhausted and worn out, nothing seems to go right. So try not to wear yourself out and rest, Aquarius. So the next one for you of the earth wisdom is boundaries. This is beautiful. This is the Celtic cross. Beautiful. This is eternal spiritual love, number one. So this is like happiness, um, rest, and then grounding yourself. So I, I feel like you, if you ground yourself, you will have more spiritual love, more control. So let's switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck, and you have Five of Wands. Five of Wands is people gossiping, talking about you, Aquarius. The next one would be Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is somebody who has a lot of intuition, and they listen to it. So usually if this queen asks you a question, and feel free to vice versa, masculine, feminine energy. If this would be a king to you, then switch it. So this person is going to ask you something they already know the answer to, I feel. They're kind of testing your love for them, is what I'm picking up. So the Hierophant. This, is, this person is really intuition, and I almost feel like they want to see how much intuition you have. They're seeing how much your third eye is opening. So King of Cups is my codependent king. He has codependent issues, and maybe she's trying to get insight of this. Because this is people gossiping. So I don't know if people put it in her head or told her something about this king. Vice versa, the masculine and feminine, where it applies. I'm just going with the cards. Four of Cups is somebody focusing on something from the past they can't move past. You're stuck in a thinking about the past. So death could be Scorpio, but this is you moving on from something that's going to put you in a higher vibration and more aligned with yourself, your higher self. Princess of Cups is somebody offering love. This could be a new beginning. This is somebody who could be naive, younger than you, very pure, very kind. And then you have High Priestess. So the High Priestess is somebody who's been... Um, she's lived a life and she answers things really directly. She's a realist and people 
are offended sometimes by realists because when they get asked a question, they answer it so direct, some people take it offensively. So the high priestess, though, is somebody who tries to guide somebody. So maybe she's trying to guide this Princess of Cups. Is what I'm picking up? So Three of Cups is happiness. Wow, that is weird. I just saw something really weird. What is that? That's strange. Alright, so then the next one is Princess of Swords, which would be somebody spying or somebody wanting to communicate love to you. Ten of Swords is the ending. Something that needs to end because it's time. Queen of Coins is stability. Again, the intuition, security, stability is what I'm picking up. And King of Swords. So look, or no, do we have the Queen of Swords? No, we don't. I was thinking that was a Queen of Coins. So this is the King of Swords. So this is somebody coming in to say something to you. It's not going to be nice, I feel. So I'm going to switch to these Tarot Illuminati. The first one is Prince of Cups. This is nice. This is somebody coming in to apologize. Or offer love. Either or. And the next one is Justice. So something's going to balance out. Then you have Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is somebody offering uh, attraction. They're attracted to you. They think you're beautiful. They think you're handsome. And then Four of Cups. So it seems like you're looking to something and not even noticing the new love trying to get through to you. So Eight of Cups again is you Thinking about the past relationship, what went wrong, you're regretful, I feel you're sad. So this is you reflecting on something that didn't work out. Queen of Pentacles, somebody knows her worth and she doesn't settle. So some people wonder why, oh, aren't you scared? You're taking too long. And this person knows their worth. They're not worried. They're not scared. Very grounded. So then you have the lovers, which could be Gemini placement around you, Aquarius, or in your chart. But this is what it says, lovers. So a lover's coming into you, I feel. And the stars, this is beautiful. So you manifested something, I'm guessing, Aquarius. This is something you could have been dreaming about, asking the universe about. This is a lover and dreams coming true. Beautiful. So the Empress. The Empress is somebody who holds herself at a high standard. But she's very desired. Five of Pentacles. Somebody's going to feel left out in the cold. Nine of Wands is somebody who had to fight really hard to get to where they are. They're kind of in a warrior mode stance. And then King of Swords is somebody who's very standoffish. This person is like on guard. They kind of don't know how to take you, so they're very on guard, so to speak. Alright, so I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you, Aquarius. So spiritual growth, I see eternal love. You are growing. I feel like you know this, though. You sense it, or you can tell the way things are playing out. So the first one is courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I feel like you're healing from the purple and going towards the sun. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. This is healing and love. So that is good. You have the courage to move towards love and healing yourself, Aquarius, which in turn is going to lead you to a beautiful place. That is nice. And so I feel like you almost feel this wish fulfillment is coming. You kind of like, are you manifesting it or anticipating it, some of you? So the uh, Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card is 22. Master number, take note. Your answers are being given to you. Quieting external voices and excessive noises will give you the chance to hear what is being said. Or offered, sorry, offered. That's a Hawaiian monk seal right there. They're very rare. 
So look at, then you have Dancing in the Rainbow, number seven. Break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. 22 and 7. So I feel like when you figure out what you desire, you're going to be happy. And it's all about being happy down here on earth. you got to figure out what makes you happy and go with it and make it grow. All right, here we go. We'll pull the Angel and Ancestor cards for you. The first one is Elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. So to me, this always talks about family beliefs or traditions that your family has passed down to you and now that you have your family you want to change the traditions or the patterns and the universe is saying and that's okay and even your elders in heaven are not going to mind that you change that so the next one for you is night be brave and honest this is beautiful so this talks about somebody I should read it because it's pretty powerful night Okay, night. It says, do the right thing even if it isn't the easiest option. Stand for what you know to be right and true. The energy of respect is important right now. You are being encouraged to figure out what is important to you and what you stand for. If you are in a space where there's opportunities, you are being guided to follow through with integrity. Because even if a swim, this will slow your progress, your rewards will be much more abundant. If you are being surrounded by a light of bravery to help you. The night's pretty powerful. These are real spiritual cards, both those. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot Aquarius. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you. Bless you.